It is the beginning of November and it's time for the most awaited PS Plus Extra games, and yet again Gaming Byte is up for predictions. So these are the games I would love to have in PS Plus Extra games lineup. Be sure to subscribe our channel and hit the notification bell icon. The very first game that I would love to have in PS Plus Extra Games lineup is Tom Clancy's Rainbow Six Extraction which is a follow-up to Tom Clancy's Rainbow Six series, this time focusing on co-op between three players trying to eliminate a deadly parasite of unknown origin. Rainbow Six Extraction is a game with a different atmosphere from its predecessors. This time it is a tactical shooter enriched with survival horror elements, because the opponent we have to fight is an alien parasite mutating into different forms. In total, the game offers 12 maps with procedurally generated challenges to face. In order to do so, we take on the role of one of 18 operators, already appearing in the previous installment of the series. Second game is Pyre which is one of the most critically acclaimed indie games in the last 10 years, with solid reviews on Metacritic and great word of mouth. Part sports game, part visual novel, Pyre tasks you with teaming up as a group of exiles as you seek to make it out of the downside. With co-op modes locally and a branching story that has no game over and reflects your choices in party dynamics, it is a real treat. And, with two big games on this list, Pyre would add a great dose of variety to this month's lineup. Third game is Back for Blood This co-op horde shooter has had a solid run over the last year with some DLC updates and content packs. But, it hasn't quite exploded in the way Left 4 Dead did. So, with a PS Plus launch, we could see the game pick back up in terms of players and interest. And, if Turtle Rock are planning more content down the road, then this would be a good way to get people in the door. Fourth game is Hades which is an isometric perspective action games in which players task is to complete randomly generated stages and kill increasingly strong monsters. As the game progresses, players develop their character's skills, which allows them to take on even more difficult challenges. Typically for the roguelike genre, the game features a high level of difficulty sooner or later a player is bound to die only to come back a moment later and use the experience gained in a new battle. The combat system requires dexterity however delivers spectacular attacks. Fifth game is Cuphead which is a two-dimensional fighting game with platforming elements. The game sees us engage in 1v1 combat using multiple types of weaponry. Each enemy has their own fighting style that has to be elazed and then countered if we are to move towards victory. In opposition to old classics, the enemies are powered by a dynamic AI, forcing us to create a real tactics instead of just remembering his skill profile. Our hero can wear a few different outfits, which provide additional powers. Sixth and last game that I would like is The Quarry which is it is a horror adventure game with a cinematic touch. In The Quarry we take control over all characters alternately. We explore locations, hold conversations and take part in thrilling events. The course of the story is shaped primarily by the choices we make. From the seemingly trivial, such as opening a mysterious manhole or investigating the source of the screams coming from the forest, to decisions of much greater importance, on which depend the lives of individual characters. In addition, there is no shortage of challenges in which we have to show dexterity and reflexes. That's all for now leave us a comment of what do you think about these games. If you have not subscribed our channel yet now is a great time to do so. We upload new videos every day and the best way to see them is a subscription so click subscribe and hit the notification bell icon.